Hello viewers, welcome to our Unity Android game development channel. This is our episode number 10 of how to create a 2D game using Unity 3D. In the last episode, that is episode number 9, we learned to create game over menu. We learned how to import custom fonts into our game and utilize it in the UI. As you can see in the screen, we created this game over menu, we created our scoring system and make it visible using UI text and also we learned to change the text from C sharp code. Now in this lesson or in this episode number 10, we will import audio to the game and we will add sound in our game and use this sound in C sharp code. So let's get started. Game controller was our uh, empty object. Basically I will control the audio with the audio controller script. I will separate the audio totally from the game logic. To do this First, I will create a C sharp script. Create C sharp script and I will call it audio controller. As you can see, the mono develop didn't launch correctly. To avoid further mistake, I will close the mono develop and again open the mono develop IDE this is the safe part to avoid mistake now I will simply add this audio controller script to the game controller object We'll call it sound. Let us import sound. This is the clip, audio clips. Select them all and simply drag them in the Unity editor. Here they are. The audio clips are imported. At first, now we will start our coding. We will create our instance of audio controller. Audio controller, I will call it SE instance. Now there will be a public audio source. We will, we will be needing a audio source this audio source component will play our sound or audio we need audio clip audio clip there will be three type of sounds for now one will be wall touching sound wall touch sound one will be audio clip one will be flap sound that sound now in the awake function
ac instance is equals to null ac instance is equals to this and we will check another thing that our sound is muted or not that means our user has turned the sound on or off in the settings or not if for now there will be no variables like setting the sounds on or off in the settings as because we need to access the local storage to save the settings I told you previously in the episode number 9 that I will take a single episode for accessing local storage of your device using Unity 3D engine so stay tuned to our channel for episode number 11 to learn how to use local storage to save score settings and other things and if you missed the previous episode you can follow the link given in the description now let us just make it always falls there will be some functions public void play wall touch sound public void play flap sound public void play dead sound this is it so we will play our sound using the audio source variable my audio source dot play you can see there are many functions here play is a function to play our audio clip now we will not use this play function rather we'll use this play one shot the benefit of this function is that it will play multiple sounds simultaneously but the normal play function will not play a sound rather it will override the current sound with the running excuse me it will override the current playing sound with the new sound track so to run the sound simultaneously we will use play one shot function play one shot wall touch sound this is our audio clip this will be flap sound this will be dead sound now we will check something my audio source dot is or my audio source dot mute now we will check here if our 
audio or sound is turned off by the user then we will mute our audio source and for this is we do not need to check that sound is on or off manually in every function like this if sound is on this is not a code this is just an algorithm like text I, I am using it to understand you that if sound is on then play our sound we do not need this kind of conditions simply we will check our audio is turned on or not if it is turned off then we will mute the audio source so this is as simple as that excuse me press the skip we will first add a component audio listener we will add a audio source this is our audio source my audio source this is a wall touch sound flat sound dead sound so variable initializing is done now we will simply call the functions whenever our bird is successfully touching the wall then we will audio controller dot ac instance dot play wall touch sound whenever our bird is dead and flap sound that is in our bird, fl bird flap script flap the bird we will play play flap sound this is it there is a warning what is the warning here unreachable code detected well that is not a headache Let us try it. Try that again. Wall touch. Cool, like right? yes. This is very simple, and this is very cool stuff in Unity. So this is it. Thank you for watching the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel like this video share this video and comment your opinion or if you do not understand anything please do comment do not miss the episode number 11 as this will be an important episode we will learn to access the local storage of our gaming device thank you